Well now, here's a thought for the day on behalf of Larbert Baptist Church. To be up with the times, one must be up with computers and internet and gadgets of all sorts and workable communicators and mobiles and synthesized voices and universal specialities and intricate technologies and the subjugation of the will to the voice of machines and the subjugation of the world to what I think is correctly understood from the Apostle Paul's words in Ephesians 2. The subjugation of everything to the course of this world according to the prince of the power of the air the spirit who now works in the sons of disobedience Perhaps, put like that, it's, it's a misunderstanding of the words, I don't know. But as such as I am, the mobile phone is more often than not switched off. In fact, I'm not absolutely sure where it is. I acknowledge, in a sort of way, it's useful, but it's not in the least actually a priority in my life. To be up with the times makes me feel like an alien. I don't know the language. I don't know the terms of reference. I don't know the communicating proficiencies. I don't know the, the points of association. Nothing. It would help, I, I suppose, if I knew the lingo. But I'm out of my depth. I recognise that the landscape is familiar. But yet, I'm not at home. I look with consternation. Have I nothing to say? Is the way of getting across to the people now, 
digitally represented by numbers moving across a dial is the truth somehow the product of our thinking and is it conveyed by signals and by charts by buzzing sounds and flitting images? Are we imprisoned within our technologies? And as a result, are we cut off from key issues? These are questions I don't know. All I know is this, that I spend my hours in the study of scripture. That is the fact. I spend all my thinking power upon the study of scripture. And I believe it to be originally beyond this present age. It moves in ways and histories and concepts and judgments which go deeper than the encyclopedic chit-chat of computer readouts. I want to know the truth. I mean the truth in all the ages. There's a, a book by C.S. Lewis, a little book, The Abolition of Man. And it presents the, the truth from a philosophical point of view that at the very base of our existence there is that which is absolutely immovable which frames the meaning of life but way beyond the philosophical aspect of the matter. I want to know the truth and I, I want to know it because it is the truth. It always has been and it always will be. I, went, I want to get beyond the toss and turn of people's opinions. I want to know the truth because the truth stands where opinions never do. And bearing that in mind, I think of a, a scripture and it's this, 2 Timothy 
3 verses 16 and 17. All scripture is given by inspiration of God. It is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete, thoroughly equipped, for every good work. Now, I believe that to be true. But I, I call upon you, dwell upon it even if you don't believe it. What is the verse speaking of? And how does it dig down into the absolute root of matter of the matter? All scripture is given by inspiration of God. It isn't our manufacture. It is the truth conveyed in the Bible from Genesis through to Revelation of the mind of God, the purpose of God. And writes the Apostle, this is useful for doctrine, that is the basic foundation upon which truth is formed. It is profitable for reproof, that is, to expose those false notions which lead us astray. It is profitable for correction. It doesn't only show what is, according to the scripture, wrong, but it shows us what is right, the, ra the right way. It is profitable for righteousness that the way of God is lifted up before us with tremendous authority and power for instruction in righteousness, that we may be complete, that is, fit for any position we're in, any condition that we're in, any calling upon us to voice our mind. We are complete and we are 
equipped for every good work. It is for every good work. There is a universal profitability about the Word of God. It is for every good work. It means across the board. It is a good thing. Of course, I, I must declare my position. It is this that Jesus Christ is the Lord of glory, always has been, always will be, and he gave his life for us and rose from the dead to be our saviour and lives to be our king. Recently, at the King's coronation, King Charles III, a book was given to the king with these words, here is wisdom. This is the royal law. These are the lively oracles of God. And that I believe. I don't know how many that were in the cathedral on that day actually believed it, but I believe it. I believe it as a matter of fundamental importance. And I tell you so, even though as far as all the machines that buzz and twitter and flutter all around us, leave me utterly baffled on this. I am absolutely certain. God bless you.